Every year, the championship gets tougher and tougher, as multiple teams slog it out to achieve their goals of promotion, be it automatically or via the playoffs. This year is no different, and while Wolves are running away with it at the top of the table, there are various other teams challenging for the right to become a Premier League team next season. So after 26 games, not long after the halfway stage, let's grade all 24 teams' performance, with an A plus being the highest, and an F being the lowest, and yes kids, there is such thing as an A. Starting from the bottom, in 24th place is Sunderland. Last season was a disaster for the Black Cats, but incredibly things have got even worse in the championship, mainly down to a severe lack of investment from owner Ellis Short. Simon Grayson got the boot and Sunderland have improved under Chris Coleman, but they've still got a huge job on their hands to avoid what could be a killer second relegation in two seasons. We're giving Sunderland a big fat F. In 23rd of Birmingham City, and despite a plethora of new signings, the Boos have been just as bad as they were last year. Harry Redknapp got the sack after six straight defeats, and new boss Steve Cottrell has been unable to get much extra out of all of the new signings Redknapp made, leaving them in another relegation battle. It's an F for Birmingham City. In 22nd it's Burton Albion. It's the Brewers second season in the championship and it's a severe case of second season syndrome, finding the league much tougher than last year despite a relegation scare last season as well. However, Nigel Clough's side is still punching above their weight just being this high in the football league. Obviously things still aren't good enough so it's an A for Burton so far. 21st place is Hull City and they are certainly a team in free fall. Just like Sunderland, Hull City could be facing back-to-back -back relegations, with bad ownership the root of their problems. The Tigers have lost the bulk of their team over the past 12 months, with limited resources used to replace those players, meaning first Leonard Slutsky and now Nigel Adkins have a bit of a thankless task. Hull are massively on the slide, and we're giving them an F on and off the pitch. 20th place are Bolton Wanderers, and after a horrific start of the season, Phil Parkinson's side are fighting back, surging from the bottom of the table out of the relegation zone. One worry for Bolton is the future of top scorer Gary Medine, who they'll need to keep if they're going to survive in the championship, but the hunger Bolton have shown will give fans hope they can survive. Their terrible start of the season can't be forgotten, but we're going to give Bolton a D- so far. 19th place is Barnsley. They did brilliantly last season, but this term hasn't quite gone as well, and despite impressing in patches, Barnsley are on the brink of a relegation battle. However, investment in January should see them survive, and we're going to give them a D- for the season so far. In 18th place are Reading. Last season's playoff finalists, this time it hasn't been as easy for Yapstam, and to be honest it was remarkable how close they came to promotion last year. They're probably not going to go down, but a managerial change could happen soon if results don't pick up. However, after 26 games it's an F for Reading. In 17th place is Queen's Park Rangers, and the Ars fans are not happy with Ian Holloway. In fairness, the former Sky Pundit does have a shocking record since returning to Loftus Road and even launched an assault on his own fans who left the ground early on a night when his side completed an epic comeback. It's a familiar story for QPR in recent years and we're going to give them an A so far. In 16th place we've got Sheffield Wednesday. Potentially the biggest disappointment of the season as Wednesday aren't even close to promotion despite having one of the best squads in the division. Dejvan Chancery acted by sacking Carlos Carvajal and bringing in Josh Lohaki, so things might pick up under new management, but until then, it's a big F for the Owls. In 15th place we've got Millwall. The newly promoted side have had a pretty good return to the championship, steadily plodding along as they look to avoid relegation to League One. Neil Harris aside are chipping away at their points tally, and we're going to give them a C for the season so far. In 14th place are Nottingham Forest, who recently sacked Mark Warburton after a very inconsistent first half of the season. Forest showed they could play under Warburton whilst also having a leaky defence, shipping 42 so far this season. Under Karanga, they should become a lot more solid and potentially surge up the table. We're going to give Nottingham Forest a D plus so far. 13th place is Norwich City, a club who really seem to have lost their mojo since relegation. The Canaries are meandering in mid-table 7 points off the playoffs as the perennial yo-yo club appear to be stuck in the mud. Disappointing again from Norwich, who get a D-. In 12th place it's Ipswich Town. One place above their rivals, Ipswich are basically stuck in the championship and their position bang in the middle of the table sums them up perfectly. It's a C for Ipswich Town. In 11th place it's Brentford and the Bees would be looking even prettier had they converted some of their 10 draws into wins. It wasn't until the 23rd of September that Brentford got their first win, but now they're on a good run of form and could maybe even make a late push for the playoffs. It's a B- for Brentford. In 10th place is Fulham, and after a great season last time out, the Cottagers initially struggled this season, 
with Slavisky Ikanovic clearly frustrated with the club's transfer policy. Despite the off-field shenanigans, Fulham are getting back to their best and challenging for the playoffs. More was probably expected though, so at the minute it's a C-plus for Fulham. In 9th place are Preston North End. They've shown there's life after Simon Grayson, once again appearing in the right half of the table, with Alex Neal ensuring that Preston remain tough to beat. Will they gain promotion? Highly unlikely, but fans have to be happy with where they are currently, as they continue to grow as a club. So it's a B for Preston. In 8th place we've got Middlesbrough, who most people tell to romp the division and return to the Premier League at the first time of asking. That hasn't happened and now Tony Pulis is in charge, with Borough floating outside of the playoffs when they should be pushing for a place in the top two. Really underwhelming from Borough, who only get a D- so far. In 7th place it's Sheffield United, one of the real surprise packages in the championship. The Blades continued their form from last season in League One and Crush Wilder's side are real playoff contenders despite a dip in form over the past month. Considering they were a League One side last season, it's an A for Sheffield United. In 6th place it's Leeds United. They missed out on the playoffs last season after a great campaign and this year under Thomas Christensen, Leeds look like real contenders once again, maybe slightly more under the radar though. The signings of Samuel Sice and Alioski have made them a scary proposition on the counter-attack and if they can find a level of consistency then Leeds are promotion contenders. It's a B- for Leeds United so far. In 5th place we've got Aston Villa. Steve Bruce's side are finally around about where they should be, having failed last year, but I am slightly disappointed in them after tipping them as a potential champions before the season began. But they're at least in the promotion picture this season and get a B- for the season so far. In 4th place it's Bristol City. It's another remarkable story near the top of the championship as Lee Johnson's side have played without fear and haven't missed the goals of Tammy Abraham. They've shown they can dance with the Premier League clubs and the Cups but can they dispose of their current piece to make playing Premier League football a regular occurrence? It's an A for Bristol City. In 3rd place are Cardiff City. Another surprise package because somehow or another Neil Warnock has got Cardiff competing for promotion after only being brought in last season to keep them in the division. Will the Welsh club go up? It's hard to imagine and they've had a rough winter but Warnock's pragmatic approach could keep the Bluebirds in the playoffs. It's an A for Cardiff City. Currently second to Derby County who have just avoided a scare with Gary Rowett signing a new deal at the club. Rowett was doing the business of Birmingham before his sacking and at Derby he's shown once again what he's all about, slowly guiding the Rams up the table and now into the automatic promotion places. Derby have been on the cusp of something good for quite a few years now and Gary Rowett looks like the man to actually achieve something special. It's an A for Derby County. And finally, top of the league are Wolverhampton Wanderers, who are quite possibly the best team the championship has ever seen. Sure they're only as good as they are because of the money they spend, but if you've got it, flaunt it, and Wolves have done exactly that, with their rafts of Portuguese talent tearing up the championship as Nuno Espirito Santos side dominate the division. No one will stop Wolves this season, and they already look like they could be a capable Premier League side. Of course, it's an A plus for Wolves. So that's all 24 championship teams graded so far this season. Let us know your grades in the comments below as they'll almost certainly differ so we look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.